Welcome to Exercise at Home with Balanced Body. I'm Elizabeth Larkham. Happy to be with you for this movement at home practice, focusing on the effect that your tongue and your eyes can have on your mat exercises. We'll also consider um, the vestibular system as the head moves in uh, different relationships to the floor, to gravity. Now, when you press your tongue into your lower lip, that gives a signal to your neurological system that it's time to activate the flexors, spine flexion. When the tip of your tongue presses to the roof of your mouth behind your upper teeth, that gives an indication to your system it's time to go into extension, time for backbending, time for swan. Let's put these to use in the, in the, the mat exercise roll up and roll over. Have a seat on your mat. Initially place your palms on the backs of your thighs, knees bent. As you inhale, lift your sternum and then move your brain up and back so it's above your heart, not in front of it. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, nod your nose downward. Glide your eyes, your gaze, to look behind the cheekbones of your face. Press your tongue into your lower lip and roll down. Inhaling. As you exhale, nod your nose downward. Press your tongue into your lower lip. Move your gaze behind the cheekbones of your face and, using your arms to help, roll up. So in that case, there was a congruent action between the movement of the gaze, the eyes down, and the pressure of the tongue to encourage spine flexion and spine flexion. Let's take this now from a, a different vantage point of the roll up roll down and roll up. Interlace your fingers, elbows extended, inhaling, perching high on your sitting bones. As you exhale, press into the thumb side of your hand, dorsiflex your feet, tongue down, eyes down, gaze down, and roll down. Inhaling, Pressing into the little finger side of the heel of your hand, pointing both feet, tongue up, eyes up, gaze up. Now, as you exhale, press into the thumb side of your hand, dorsiflex your feet, nod your nose downward, tongue down, eyes down, gaze down, and roll up. Let's just feel the difference now such that we give cues for spine extension during the roll down. The movement of roll down and roll up will be the same, as the same choreography, but the cues, the neurological cues given with tongue and eyes and fingers and feet will be different. Good luck to us. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, Plant or flex your feet. Press the little finger side of the heel of your hand against each other. Eyes up underneath your eyebrows. Tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth behind your upper teeth. And roll down. <laughs> Cross-eyed there. Inhaling, taking your hands above your head. As you exhale, plant or flex your feet. Press the little finger side of your hands against each other. Tongue up, eyes up, gaze up, and try to roll up. Perhaps you felt that was different, more difficult than when the cues for spine flexion were congruent. Let's take this to, a, to the next level now, um, changing the roll up and roll over such that you have closed chain at the wall behind you 
and the Achilles tendon between your first two toes. Measure your distance from the wall. So come to lie on your back, arms outstretched, such that the pads of your fingers and thumbs can press into the wall. Place your heel in line with your tailbone, your Achilles between the first two toes. As you inhale, press the pads of your fingers and thumbs into the wall. As you exhale, tongue down, eyes down, gaze down, and dorsiflex your feet. Now, pressing your hands into the wall, tongue down, eyes down, gaze down, roll over, pushing your feet into the wall, sitting bones up towards the ceiling. Change such that the new Achilles is between your first two toes, pressing your heels into the wall, your fingers into the wall, your sitting bones up to the ceiling, tongue down, eyes down, gaze down, sweep your arms out to the side, and roll up, pausing, we hope, in this teaser, exhaling, tongue down, eyes down, gaze down, forehead down. Inhale to perch high on your sitting bones. As you exhale, roll down, Inhale, rolling up. <laughs> There's the wall. Pressing your hands into it. Change the new Achilles on top. Exhaling, roll down. Up. And over. Just to feel the difference, let's do that same choreography, that same movement sequence, but with the tongue up, the eyes up, the gaze up. Inhale, instead of pressing the thumbs against each other, press the little finger side of the heel of your hand against each other. Exhaling, tongue up, eyes up, gaze up, hips up. Change, tongue up, eyes up, gaze up, and over. You might surprise yourself. But then again, you could explain to yourself and say, oh, in these movements of roll up and roll over with uh, the teaser in, inserted between there, you could appreciate that the entire neuromyofascial system is activated. So the abdominals, the flexor system, they never act alone, but always in communication with, in conjunction with, the extensor system, the spine extensor system. So depending on where you need a little boost, a little help, you could either use the tongue down, eyes down, thumbs pushing into each other for more ease in flexion, or tongue up, eyes up, gaze up, pressing into the little finger side of the heel of your hand for um, extra boost for your extensor system. Thank you so much for joining us with Exercise at Home at the Balanced Body Platform. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you, everybody. Bye.